everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tomeister and welcome back to Tim Buckton in episode number 36 of the series. In today's episode, guys, we are going to be building a decent sized mall uh, near downtown Tim Buckton. Now, I'm not, I can't really remember if I specified this in the last episode or not, uh, what we're going to be doing in this episode, but uh, this is it. We're going to be building a mall. Um, now, you're probably thinking, why are we building a mall so close to downtown, and like, just why a mall in general? Um, I just thought it would look kind of cool in this area. Um, and again, with the whole like, inspired by Halifax thing, uh, the Halifax Shopping Center uh, is probably like one of the biggest malls in Eastern Canada, and uh, it's pretty close to downtown. And I'm not really sure when it was built. I haven't researched that far into it. Uh, but I do know that it is quite old. And, uh, well, I mean, not old. I'm guessing probably like in the 70s or 80s it was built. And the way it's built is kind of cool because it's sort of like meshed. And, and it's kind of like compacted into this residential area. And uh, it, it doesn't take up a lot of room as you might think a large mall would. So anyways, this is sort of where the inspiration for this build comes from, and uh, honestly I just felt like building it in between these huge tracks, you know, I, I wasn't really sure what else to build in this area, so uh, a mall it is. Now I'm going to try to sort of emulate the surroundings of the Halifax Shopping Center in that um, it seems to have been built over like a huge residential section. because. Uh, the mall is like sort of compacted in between this neighborhood and uh, it's it's weird you know there, there's like houses and stuff almost butted up against the mall and it's it's a pretty unique spot I think and uh, with this here I thought that I could uh, you know build something that was uh, that would closely resemble uh, the Halifax shopping center so uh, that is what's going on in this episode so it's a pretty big build just for one structure also in this episode, in just a couple of seconds actually, I'm going to announce the winner for last episode's contest. Um, so if you guys missed it, I was doing a contest on uh, what we're going to build in an abandoned lot in downtown. So I left that completely up to you guys and I've received way more submissions than I ever thought I would. Uh, so that was awesome. And uh, I actually received way more votes than I thought I would as well. I think it was over a hundred and something. Um, so yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh, so it was actually a really interesting poll as it was n it was pretty much tied uh, between three different propositions for our, you know the first couple of days for like three or four days. You know there were three submissions that were really close to each other between like one or two votes uh, that entire time. Uh, but slowly but surely, one of the candidates sort of rose ahead and uh, finished and in the end they actually won. So the winner for last episode's contest goes to Dejon Brown with his Esterman Holdings and Finance. Uh, so congratulations to Dejon and honestly he really deserves to win. Uh, he put so much effort into his submission that you know it was actually astounding. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, so I am going to develop the Esterman Holdings in Finance in the next episode. I was going to do it in this episode, but um, you know, I, I just really didn't get the time and I wanted to wait long enough for all the results to come in. I didn't want to rush anything. Uh, so we're going to finish up the mall in this episode and uh, part of the next episode is going to be reserved for building Esterman Holdings in Finance. And uh, Another good thing about that submission too is uh, he actually included a lot of detail on how the building should look and how it should change the skyline a little bit. So that was a plus. Makes my job a little bit easier and uh, it's uh, I think it's going to fit in pretty well in the Timbuktu skyline. So once again, congratulations Dejan. I know some people are sort of like mall geeks and they know how they work and how everything is sort of intermesh together. I'm no expert on how malls work and anything like that so I was basically just plopping down some random stores and uh, there's two like really big mall sets on the workshop that I downloaded. Uh, one of them is the Skyline Mall I think it is or is it Skyline? I forget the name anyways. Um, 
And uh, there's another one, I forget the name of that one as well, uh, but both of them sort of recommend using certain big block stores. And I think the big stores such as like Walmart and Toys R Us and all that kind of thing, uh, I think most of them are created by King Leno. Uh, so I don't know, I just sort of meshed a whole bunch of different things together and I think the final result is pretty cool. Uh, but let me know in the comments guys what you think of the mall. Um, let me know what you think of like the size of the mall, if it fits well into the area. Because um, I really enjoyed like building it and I like the way that everything turned out. However, sometimes when I zoom out I'm like, uh, did I really build it in the good spot? And I'm not 100% sure about it, uh, but you know, I'm not going to destroy it and start again or anything like that. You know, I, I like it the way it is. And, you know, it is what it is, right? It took me like two hours to build it, and I'm not going to destroy it and go with something else. So, uh, just let me know your thoughts on it. But in another sense, it kind of makes sense to build this mall as, you know, I was sort of thinking of a backstory behind why the mall was built here. And uh, one story that is totally plausible is that this may have been like a large industrial shipping area or you know, like a big train yard, or whatever the case may be, and the mall was built on top of it. Uh, so, if anybody cares to write a sort of backstory behind when and how the mall was developed, and uh, all like the, the politics and everything that went on behind the scenes, uh, feel free to do so. You know, I'm pretty open to anything, and I just like to get you guys a little bit involved too in, uh, you know, developing a sort of storyline behind Timbuktin. So, uh, that is going to be a little bit of homework for you guys uh, for the next episode. So I'm not going to start a new poll or anything like that. I'm going to try to space them out a little bit just not to make things too crazy because uh, it does require a fair amount of editing and a fair amount of like planning and stuff like that to develop these polls as I have to sort of make up a story behind it and I have to stick to my word, right? If we have like three or four polls going on at the same time, I'm going to forget what story is which and gonna be a big mess so uh, maybe every couple of episodes or so maybe every four or five episodes I might do some sort of poll or, or some sort of activity for you guys uh, but for this episode we're gonna keep it pretty chill so again for the mall uh, it's with it being really close to downtown of course there's not gonna be a ton of room for parking um, so there's gonna be a few like open-air parking spots here and there around the mall uh, but I did plop, or I, I am going to plop down two major parking lots, uh, like parking garages around the mall. And uh, this was, again, inspired by Halifax. The shopping center has like a bunch of parking garages around it. Uh, so that was just a neat little idea that I had. So I was kind of surprised with building this mall, just how easy it is to build a mall. I mean, you just have to plop a bunch of buildings down, connect them together, and most of it is actually pre-built. Like I have these nice entrances here, and a lot of the big block stores are like fully detailed and, and they look really nice. There will be another mall that's going to be built on the outskirts in the suburbs of Timbuktin eventually once we get to that general area, and it's going to be much bigger and much newer than this mall as well. So it's gonna have a completely different layout and parking area is gonna be way huger around the mall. So it's just generally gonna be your m more average suburban mall, I guess. Uh, so that is to come in, I don't even know when, probably like the next 20 episodes. <laughs> if all goes well and the city is still working by then, we just might get to see a new and improved um, mall. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, I downloaded a new LUT, so let me know what you guys think of it. It looks pretty similar to the old one, although it's a little bit darker, and I think the colors are a little bit more rich. So uh, all in all, I think it looks way better. So I'm going to let you guys listen to some tunes here while I develop the main infrastructure for the mall, and I'll check back with you in a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll eventually start to detail the mall. And by the end of the episode, we are going to fill in all the empty spaces around the mall with uh, both some residential sections and a little bit of industries, as I think it fits quite well in this area for uh, industries. So uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Now, as you can see, I started to develop the residential sections around the mall. And if you may have looked closely as well, uh, you might have noticed a new interchange that was non-existent before. Um, I did record the building of that little interchange, uh, but I didn't include it in this episode as it took me like an hour or so just to build that interchange because I'm so fussy on like the placements of my roads and I want everything to look smooth and clean. Uh, so it was kind of a tedious process and I didn't want to bore you guys with that. Um, However, if you would like to see the development on that little interchange, I might be able to do like some sort of dedicated video of it or I don't know, maybe, but uh, I just wanted to update you guys on that because some of you may have noticed that new interchange that wasn't there before and uh, in case you were wondering, that is pretty much what happened. Now that the main mall structure has been constructed, we're going to move on to, I'm basically going to start to edit or not edit, but to detail the residential sections around the mall, as well as some little de as well as some little details here and there inside the mall itself, or inside like the mall area. So with all that being complete, that's gonna pretty much finish this entire area of town. Um, it's a pretty big part of the city that we filled in, and uh, one little problem that it caused. Well, I mean, it's not really a big problem, but uh, I had to supply power to the mall via power lines. Uh, but in the next episode, we're going to start to develop the area um, just south of the mall. So we're going to basically bridge the gap between the mall and downtown with some old uh, residential areas as well as some industrial areas around it. So uh, next episode should be quite interesting as well. And uh, I'm guessing, guys, like within the next three or four episodes, Timbuktu should really start to look like a fully built and fully functional city with uh, everything that a normal city might need. Um, one thing that we'll have to get into as well, uh, so I always take a little bit of time to sort of review how healthy the city is, how it's doing um, in terms of like traffic and health and education and, and just how well the city is going in general. And one thing that, uh, one problem that we're facing uh, recently is traffic. Uh, especially along the main highways between Burton and Timbuktu. Uh, there's a lot of people going to and from work during the mornings, and it can get quite hectic. And uh, we're pretty far into the series now, and surprisingly, we don't have any mass transit whatsoever, except maybe like a ferry that goes from Burton to Timbuktu. Uh, that's pretty much the only form of public transportation that we have. So that is something that we'll have to get into sooner than later to help alleviate that uh, traffic problem that's starting to arise. So I'm going to get you guys to provide a lot of input on how that sort of bus network should uh, be developed. I say bus network, but it, there's obviously going to be a few more things such as like train stations, bus stations. Um, not really sure what else, but uh, oh, like taxis maybe. I mean, taxis isn't really something that you can sort of plan or whatever, but anyways, uh, we're going to have to develop some form of public transportation in the near future, so uh, I'll get your guys' help on just that.
was recently thinking as well, uh, the train network in Timbuktu will have to be sort of developed at some point, and not only like the inner train stations and stuff, uh, but like the inner city train stations. So I want to eventually connect like Edinburgh and uh, Aberdeen to Timbuktu via train, because uh, each town has its own train station. So I want to provide some additional connections between the towns into Timbuktu because obviously not everybody will have cars and stuff and you know I just want to improve traffic in a general sense so uh, that is something that will be to come eventually so if you guys miss those little outskirt towns uh, we will eventually revisit them so everything is looking pretty good so far the only thing that we have to do now is to develop the little industry section around the uh, around the mall and the reason why I'm plopping down some industries here is like I said this area used to probably be some sort of huge industrial plant or you know something of the sort so it makes sense that there's a little remnant or a little part of that industrial park left over with these little warehouses and stuff here nothing major uh, but just something to provide a couple of jobs for the people that are uh, living in this area. Um, so if you look closely at my RCI gauge, I'm not sure if it's even called that anymore, but in SimCity 4, it was called RCI for Residential, Commercial, and Industry uh, Demand Gauge, I guess. Whatever it's called, if you look at my residential demand, it's uh, pretty high right now, and a lot of businesses are complaining that there is either not enough customers or not enough workers or whatever the case may be. So we're going to have to alleviate that in the next episode. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be a problem because I was planning on building a pretty big residential area anyways. So with all that being said and done, guys, this is pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a some. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for much more content on the way. And remember guys, if you want to purchase anything from Paradox Interactive whatsoever, you know, they got lots of new stuff coming out, lots of new content. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, check down in the description below and uh, use my referral link to uh, go purchase anything from Paradox. So guys, until the next episode, please take care.